Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com for all your glider supplies. In this video, I want to take a look at the initial setup of the S Vario. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go into the Polar and Glide menu. So we're in setup and I've used the bottom knob to rotate into Polar and Glide and now I'm going to press to select Polar and Glide. I'm going to go up to Polar. And again, I'm going to press to select that. And I want to take a look at the glider list. So in here, this Vario is going into a Jantar. So we're going to scroll through the list of all the pre-programmed gliders. And we're going to find our Jantar Standard 2. So we're going to select the Jantar. It's in Club Class. And then we have our A, B, and C coordinates for the polynomial fit to the uh, polar curve. The reference load, you don't want to change that, and you don't want to change the reference weight. Those are the weight and wing loading values at which this polar was calculated. Based on your actual flying weight, the computer is going to adjust the polar to your actual weight based on the ratio of the square root of the new weight to the old weight. So we don't want to adjust this. The one thing we would adjust is we'd adjust the empty weight. We'd set that to whatever the current weight and balance for our glider shows as our empty weight. And we would put in our pilot weight. With empty weight, pilot weight, and then whatever ballast you add, as I mentioned before, the computer will adjust the polar for the exact weight at which you are flying. We'll go down here to exit and press enter. That's the polar. Speeds. We can set this up so it's the same as the airspeed indicator. Take a quick look over here. We can see the green, yellow, and red marks on the airspeed indicator. Basically, those are the same things that we have here. You can use your flight manual, come up with those values. So you'd go through and set your stall speed, approach speed, uh, no flaps on a Jantar, your maneuvering speed, and your V&E. All of those would be set. For now, I'm going to set V&E here. 154 that I see. And maneuvering speed on the airspeed indicator looks to be about 82 knots. I'm going to set that down to 82. No flaps to worry about. Don't have to worry about a blue line. Approach speed is the yellow triangle and that is at 51 knots. So I'll set that at 51. And stall speed that appears to be about 45 on this airspeed indicator. Those speeds have been set. Again, I can back out using the center button. Flaps we don't have, so we don't have to worry about that. And we will exit. So that's the polar and glider setup. Hopefully you've learned something about the S-Series of Varios today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below or send me an email. And visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.